feel safe. Two seconds of just feet, set a delay, hide or be full in timeout, management's just, it's just information. Alright, it's already we hard. For, we sit that course together? We I think we do. <laughs> so we're going to do the whole video like this. So no. half of my head is cut off. But, okay. This is what happens. You, this is what happens you when you do head. a video with a phone instead of a computer. Because we tried with the computer and it they has you do... all kinds of new rules these days with YouTube. You can't just hop on. Old Which people cannot okay. do rules. Okay. This old person cannot do rules. It takes too much time and we only have a limited amount of time. Hello, everybody. And see, now I'm four, so I have a bigger head. And I got a little half alpha sprouts. That's okay. Happy <laughs> New Year. <laughs> I don't you. See, if I put my head back like that, I look like a unicorn. <laughs> so, no. Okay, there. Yeah, there you go. You oh, look there's like Lala. Lala. You look like Lala with the little yellow thing. <laughs> From the Teletubbies? Remember okay, that? now see if I want to point it out, nobody would say anything. That's okay. That, we'll just forget. Okay, see what I found? Do you know what this is? This is Tai Chi. I mean, this is ch Chai Tea. Uh, but you don't have to say tea, remember? Oh, yeah, it's Chai. Because Chai means tea. Okay, so Starbucks says it wrong. They say, order a Chai Tea Latte. So it's like they're saying a Tea Tea Latte. <laughs> That's what Debbie told me this morning. So next time I go to Starbucks, I will correct them because... Will you just say chai tea, please? Uh, chai latte, please. I'm sorry. It's, I even, it's even on the, the know, description is chai tea. Yeah. So I just call it my tai chi. What does that say down at the bottom? tai chi. Welcome to live chat. Remember to... Not say guard cuss words. your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Okay. okay. We can't see... Did, did we not see the chat? Did I turn it on? Top chat, live chat. Nobody is chatting. That's the problem. They're there, okay. but they're not caring to say anything. Okay, well. Maybe they will. Because last time we said it was kid friendly. We didn't mean to do that. And no oh, comments. There's a praying hard for you. Where did you read okay. that? Right down here. It's oh really my gosh. small. Hang on a second. <laughs> now remember when oh, people play yes. it back, they won't be able okay. to say the chat. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you, thank you. We will maybe talk about that in a little bit. Let's do some knitting. Uh, let's talk about yarn and fiber because when the Knitting Nana watches, you know she's always like, girls, girls, <laughs> focus, like focus, focus. She keeps <laughs> us on the straight and narrow, and quite honestly, we need that now. We need then. that, but she's she's getting older, too. She's going to be 82 in July, and she doesn't have the time nor the effort or the energy to try to keep us on the straight and narrow much because she's just like, my girls just die. They're just going to have to do what they do. So... <laughs> Hi there. Okay, you want me to show what I'm doing? Sure. I guess since I already have it almost I'm out. Try on your signature crazy cat lady glasses. Look like I mean, oh my gosh, I cannot see through these. They make me cross-eyed. Because you don't have terrible vision. Like I do. Me. Mine's probably worse. These are my funky little readers that I bought. They're are they one? Are they three point zero? No, they're <laughs> prescription. They're real. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah, but they got fingerprints all over them. Okay, so show your knitting. I, of course, when you're traveling, and I just came off a cruise, and then I worked for two days and jumped on an airplane again with Ronnie to come out to California. Actually, this California trip was planned before our cruise was because Debbie, Dustin, Ronnie, and I went to Nashville last, it was April, right? Last April to see Billy Joel. Never saw him in concert. And it was so much fun. And then before Christmas, Debbie's like, guess what? Billy Joel's coming to San Diego. And we're like, yes, let's do it again. So we plan the trip to see Billy Joel. That's going to be tomorrow night. And then our friends, not too long after we planned this trip, said, hey, you guys want to go on a cruise with two families of our friends? And over spring break, I'm like, wait a minute, aren't we going to California in April? So, of course, I can't believe my boss actually let me. So I was gone for 12 he days. He let you do anything. He yeah, well, knows. I've been there almost 20 years. I guess yeah. he figures say yes or... She'll leave. Well, that's kind of what he wants. So maybe he needs to try to say no <laughs> next time. He doesn't want you to leave. You're his best employee. Yeah, even though I'm a pain in the butt. Anyway, so before you travel, you say, okay, what new project am I going to start, even though there's 17 project bags with half-done socks? So you have to start a new project, right? So, Especially if you haven't been knitting in a while. It kind of gets you yes, started on a new something. Yeah, it gets you kind of re-motivated. So I found a skein of Freckled Whimsy... The Advent 2021 Self-Striping Advent Yarn, the 24 stripes. 
This is back. 24 different colors? Yes. Mm. 24 different colors. And I said, well, heck, I'll do that. So I cast on, um, you know, 40 stitches like I normally do and was just kind of rocking 40? Along. I mean, like six, I mean, 60. Sorry. Oh, 60 okay. stitches. This like is fingering weight yarn. <laughs> fingering weight It'll yarn. It'll fit on your pinky. 60 40. stitches. And then I was sort of knitting and I thought, boy, these needles are, I mean, they are small and they're tiny. So I checked it. It was a US one. That's what I use. I use a US one, but I do 64 stitches. Yeah, okay. So, so you're probably okay for Maggie because she's got little feet. Yeah, so this is these Ooh. are gonna these are gonna be fun. This is Skyline hair. hair. That's Skyland hair, I'm I sure. Look like my hair. So I just um, did a pearl row with the color change, which gives it a little bit of dimension and keeps it from being boring, I guess to me. And it also allows for a little bit more stretchability. So she's got little feet, so so she went gaga over a set pair of socks that I made Levi and her a couple years ago that were matching. I, I mean, the girl smiles and she's excited, but she is not excited like we get excited. She got giddy excited when she, I mean, she liked her socks. She's like, oh, the socks, because kids always know they're going to get socks. And then Levi opens her. She's like, oh, oh, oh my God. Look, Levi, look. Look, he's like, I know, honey. She's like, no, look. They, they match. match. <laughs> look, yours matches my match. You I'm thinking, buy matching t holy cow, that was something. easy. So I Do said. Do they know where they're going on their honeymoon? They're going to her parents' um, beach house in Amelia Island just for a short time. Because between medical school year one and two, which will be next year at this time, they'll. J Levi actually says they have... <laughs> Jalevi, Jalevi has like Jaluk. Jaluk, yeah, has uh, a more of a break, and I think they're going to do an international honeymoon uh, next year sometime. Get him some fun little matching T-shirts oh, so that, that she can. Oh, make she him will wear love that. She will them. make him wear. Yeah. So, Maggie socks, and so you have left over. Even though I was pretty proud, they're pretty. They they're long. fairly long. They're going to be very long for her feet. For her, so I decided to use the leftovers to what knit. Levi matching socks. Shorties. Shorty. Okay, so his foot, his heel is going to be like right here. He's got a 13 inch long foot. Like, how is that possible? I, he does. It would have been even longer if you had used a contrast toe, you know, but. This is my son's gonna... foot. It's longer than my head. <laughs> Taller than my head. So he wow. will actually have a heel put in somewhere right here. So I've got some extra, like I. I have, this might work for the heels. That'll totally work. And I brought some yeah. cream. So either way. So they're going to have matching. I would put the blue in. I like the blue. The blue? I like the blue yeah. too. Yeah. They're going to have matching in. socks for Christmas. And while we're talking about socks, I'll show you a pair that I cast on recently. Just because I, f I actually finished a pair of socks when we were in the ICU. That's a totally different story. Oh yeah, we'll talk about, we'll talk, hey. Like Mont, like Nitty Nana says, she doesn't go down to the dining room because everybody talks about their organ recital, about their their gallbladder and their bad hip and all that. So we'll have an organ recital at the end. It's kind of hard. Kinda oh, that's so out. pretty. It's gray, yellow, pink, pink blue. blue. Gray, yellow, pink, blue. And then this blue. Too I many think times. this blue is a Lolo did it, but this is a different. It does look like it. It's a different dyer. I don't remember who did the. I didn't put the tag in here. Of course I didn't. It was a lollipop yarn, I think, because it was hand rolled into oh, a little the, the, ball. Yeah, and I and I wound it up. Cool. I wound it up into two little cakes. So I do mine two at a time. Whose are those four? You said nobody. They're just vanilla socks that are very easy and mindless. Does everybody else knit like cuff, sock, toe, and then just put them away? And then when you know who you're going to give them to, then you pop the heel in to match whoever. I have fit. done that in the past. I have a whole bunch I'll probably of socks do like that. that for this just because, or these might just be for me. I haven't knit myself a nice new fresh pair in a while. Fresh socks. Yes. yes. They're so nice. They are nice. So I finished yeah. a set when we were in the hospital for Stephanie. Oh, and okay. I gifted those to her already. And then I also made shorty. There's only some pe certain people. Certain held, um, people. Held double Shorty oh. house socks for Doreen, and I yeah. gave those to her already, too. And I also knit a little panda bear by Susan B. Anderson for a baby shower gift for a baby that is due to be today. born today. And I already gifted that. So Oh, did they love that? Oh, she did. She did. She loved That's it. That's the be... one with the little sweater. I think the pattern's right here. Actually, grab the top sheet on there. This is this is something that you are gifted your, your new baby, and you never let them play with. Yeah, so I made that little... 
Panda by Susan B. Anderson. It's the cutest thing because the sweater comes off. You undo the buttons and it's a little top-down sweater that you knit and you stick in there. Stick in there. Stick him in there. And his little ears, you make little holes and little ears stick out the back. Isn't that cute? That is the cutest. No, it's not an engagement ring on my hand. <laughs> it's just a ring I wear so people when I'm out and about don't think that I'm she has all these guys a like hitting on her. Lady. No, men and women hitting on her. So if she wears that, it keeps it to it keeps no, it at I bay. No, I just, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to not deal with people thinking that I'm available. So one day, one day there will be a ring on that finger. So I already call him. Well, he calls me sis. He calls me, and she calls me his wife. Yeah, and I said, listen, <laughs> when your you, wife tells when your you, wife tells you to do something, you need to listen. He's like, I know, I know. So well, I mean, we only we all see him. I think he says, darn it. <laughs> it's like a no. soon one day. Yes, we're not in a rush. I was hoping so. You want me to show? You yes. Anything? Is that all you? All yeah, you I just have these. I just so saw while these socks. when we got back from the hospital, we were still at home, kind of waiting around. Dustin, Dustin ended up having. A subarachnoid hemorrhage, which was a very unexpected, terrible brain bleed. One third of the people that have those die. One Ooh. third of the people that have those have a permanent disability oh, yeah, that doesn't allow them to really go back to work. And one third of the people recover fully and seem to be fine and live with their life, live their life. So Dustin was very fortunate. He was He's one, one of the, the one thirds who, who ha does this every now and no, then. No, he does not. But he can still He's work even when he does that. <laughs> He's fine. He's still, no, he sometimes great. it's funny. He, he'll has trouble finding a word sometimes, so he thinks he's brain damaged, and he blames the brain injury all the time for him That's not being able to... That's perfect justification yeah. for anything that happens so in I life. So I started another hexagon blanket. This is the Love Actually. It's called by Hexy Green love. Letter Day. Hexy Love Actually. Hexy it... Love Actually. Hold yeah. it closer. Hold it closer, Amy says. And it's a... So typically you would do these two middle circles with one color. You do this outer ring with another color, and then you'd attach it with a different color, but I just wanted to use up all my scraps. I'm holding fingering weight double, and then uh, fingering weight, different light colors of cream or light speckled. You can see this one's not cream, but it's enough of a contrast that it looks like it's cream. And I think I'm gonna make the whole blanket hexagon shape, like a circle, so oh. it doesn't have wavy, weird little ends. So you can see I'm going down this row here, and yes, there's, a ton. What do you do with it? The There's a ton of ends. What have you done with in. these? Oh, you wove them in? I just wove them in. I kind of weave them in in bunches. So these down here, the ends have all been woven in already. That's so pretty. Yeah, and it's a great way because I have a big tote bag filled with sock, mm -hmm. you know, ends. The ends of little balls, little mm -hmm. nuggets. And it doesn't really take up hardly any yarn. Have you ever me measured to see how much? No, I should do that. I should weigh these, weigh the little ball, and then weigh it after and see or, how much is in each just skin. Do, do that. Oh yeah, weigh that. that thing. Yeah. See, I'm an engineer. Can't think of those see, things. She needed so help silly. with a little bit of math things. Notice she asked me that, or I. This is one of my math. favorite patterns. If you're somewhat, you've done crochet and you can follow. I've actually found that following the graphic. I can't do that. Is a little easier. Once you do it a couple times and you look at the graphic, you can figure out two double crochets in this spot, three double crochets in this spot. Mm. It's basically all it is. It's very straightforward. Yeah. And she has a great way of attaching them as you go. So you don't have to do all the circles, then do all the hexagons, and then sew them all together. Oh. So as you knit the circle, you can see I'm in the middle of attaching this one on right now. See? I just have to go back around. You started to attach it at the bottom. Yeah, and then you see, went so this and one is still has this part to finish attaching, and then I have to attach it to this edge. Oh, yes. And then it'll fit right in there. That little pocket. Cool. Yeah, super easy. And well, not a, super easy, but so for relatively straightforward. So for crocheters, crochet. they're like, they didn't even tell us what size hook. It's a size H. Size H hook. Doesn't usually with have a number on it. No, hooks are usually, oh. they can be both, like so many millimeters. I think they're given a millimeter. Um, Hello, Melissa Malloy. Hi. I gave her a heads up. I said, hey, we're getting ready to do a live. So I didn't know if you were around or not. But now that we're done, I hope everybody has a nice day. I'm only kidding. We're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, thankfully Dustin was in the ICU for 10 days because they needed to monitor him. His heart went into AFib and 
They wanted to make so what sure happened that he first, didn't have, like... What happened first is Debbie calls me one day, and she's like, the strangest thing happened to Dustin. He got up in the middle of the night, and then he had, like, this terrible migraine at the same time as this electric shock in the back of his head. And I said... He needs to get checked out. And she's like, well, that's what I told her. I'm going to call him right now. I said, where is he? And she's like, he's at work. I'm like, you need to tell. He was okay. on the way to Coronado for an all-day meeting with contractors at this big multi-million dollar home. He's like, I can't miss this meeting. I'm here. So did I'm he get checked out? No. Like, no. He's like, oh, I'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow. I'm like, you should go to the doctor tomorrow. Then he got busy tomorrow and never went. Fast forward a four few days, more days. Four days, four days later. Days? Yep. Wake up in the middle of the night. I, I need to take a shower. My head hurts so bad. I said, as soon as you get out of the shower, we're going to the ER. Sorry, we're going. He was like, okay, because it hurt so bad. And then when we got there, they fentanyl, fentanyl, morphine, oh. finally dilaudid. I mean, he was in pain. Yeah, he was there how long? Ten days? Ten days. He was in major headache pain, like, scale on ten for at least 15, 16 hours before he had the That's what he gets for not getting it checked out. Yeah. But thankfully, they didn't have to do brain surgery because nope. we were thinking they may have to decompress it and drill a hole and let it drain out. But, but it was a diffuse it. bleed, so there was no like one spot that they could kind of like capture it and, and get it out of there. So because we weren't sure lucky. if he had a stroke, an aneurysm, they checked everything, and yeah, it was hit or miss. Debbie was so I had a lot of time sitting time. bedside. Yeah, luckily my job, I have a great team, and they were just like, "Do what you need to do. We'll figure it out. We'll keep mm -hmm. things going." And they did. They're awesome. And yeah, so I had a couple. A and his couple team of picked socks. up. And his team stepped right in. He's got such a good employees and yeah, all the stress of his job. So yeah. they kept the work going. And How often did he ask about his work when he was in ICU? Did he ask one time? No. <laughs> He See, was in so much pain. When you're I mean, like on your deathbed, feel like you're on your deathbed, the last thing you wonder is like, I wonder if I got that job done or did I do a good job? Yeah, or how's that job paycheck? going? Did did those parts come no. in? No, you don't care about that stuff. Yeah. So, but he's much better now. Even the headaches are even really have has turned the corner. He had residual headaches for quite a while, at least a month, six weeks. Mm. It was all through the end of February. I think it was released back home February 28th or so. Mm -hmm. So it's been a little while, but. He's back now, kind of going to the office a couple of days, a couple hours a day, yep. and I'm back full at work, and yeah, it's been good. We've been very lucky and very thankful. Yeah. And then released the end of February, and then less than a month later, a couple few weeks ago, well, not a couple of weeks, probably about a month ago, I found a lump in my breast, and I was just like, okay, well, so I had to move my yearly mammogram off of the week because we were at, on the cruise, so I said, well, I'll... I thought about it. I said, well, should I really wait till the end of April to go now that I found this lump? Maybe I shouldn't. No. Yeah. So then things got rolling. And of course, all the mammograms and the ultrasound and the needle biopsy and all of that. So it is breast cancer. So um, we're going to just, we're going to go and get it all taken care of. I'm going to have a bilateral mastectomy with reconstruction all in the same surgery, probably in another few more weeks after my son's wedding, May 4th. So thankfully we'll get that taken care of. And um, whether or not I have chemo or what kind of chemo, that is to be determined until after they do more pathology on this cancer. So I've always said if my 80, almost 82 year old mother could do it three years ago, four years ago, this 55 year old young chick can do it. So we're just gonna- Walk each day. Walk each day, move forward. Make the best decisions we can with the information yep. we have each day and yep. look back. and So we're going to get that done and it's going to be a journey, which many, many people have walked before me. So yeah. it's going to be okay. I've, I've already decided that this thing has already got licked. It just doesn't know it's got licked yet because it doesn't know me, but it'll know me soon. So, yeah. But any kind of prayers and positivity is what we are meeting right now and we believe in the power of prayer yes for sure. yes the sky's good ronnie's good um debbie and dustin and her boys are actually coming in may mm -hmm. for the wedding so if we can pair up the surgery soon after that wedding weekend debbie may just stay a few days to help out yeah. so everybody else in my household can keep on rocking with their work normal and work and school yeah. sky will be grad what well, sky will be done in another middle of may but she'll still be in school so so is everybody look at me look how kind of tan i am yeah it's because you put makeup on no it's because i was at the oh that's right cruise. you were on the cruise that's right it'll fade in another week you are a little tan. I didn't yeah, really see, notice that. You can see this light better. Yeah. Yeah. 
So is everybody else doing good, I hope? Thank I don't you. know. I was thinking, like, when would be the next time we come? Maybe in the fall? Maybe Oh, you holidays? come to California? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Makes sense for you to come out here because mom and dad are here. That's mostly why we do that. But it'll be fun, even though we're there for a short time. I don't think we'll have time to drive up to the lake. But it'll be fun for for Dustin to see. I would love for him to see our lake property. When we talk about going to the lake, and he'd be like, oh, I know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah. So. But he'll get a sense of the region, at least. And Has he been to Georgia? Has he ever been to Georgia? I think he's... Flown through Atlanta and always been delayed, so he doesn't have a good impression of... But he's never, like, been outside the airport. I don't know. I'll have to ask him. I know he's been to New Orleans, but I don't know that he's ever been to Atlanta or or the vicinity around it. Yeah, New Orleans. Um, So, we're going to Billy Joel tomorrow night. (gasps) And And Sting uh, is opening. Yes. Can you believe that? Instead of... Who was... Who... Oh, it was Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. That, that was, was really great. Awesome. Yeah, we may be a little late for Sting. I'll get there a little no, closer. No, we won't it really miss starts. it. Starts. <laughs> it's kind of cold here, though. It's in the low 60s, and tomorrow it's supposed to be sprinkly on and off. It's going to be outside. Outside at Peco Park, and so we're just kind of hoping we're going to bundle up with some layers and. It'll sort of be like a fall time mm-hmm. concert. We can in California hot chocolate or something <laughs> before we go down there. <laughs> So. I told Sky, she said, why, why are you always leaving me behind? I said, don't always leave you behind. She came There's, last trip without she, money. I know. I need to remind her that she just thinks she's unprivileged. She's not. She's very privileged. But You need um, to have her apply to San Diego State. That way she can live with me and go to school. Oh, that's what you need. Well, so I don't think she... You. No, she wants to have her freshman yeah. experience on campus. That that would be more fun. She's going to be finished all of her credits for high school next semester. She'll... Let, Christmas time of her junior year, she will have finished all the credits she needs to graduate. So she's going to start doing... She's going to start doing some dual enrollment. College classes. She's yeah. going to... It's going to be great because she's going to graduate probably a year early from college. Or she can... Yeah. Go and get a master's degree... Maybe combined with some of her undergrad. She's still not sure what she wants, to, wants do. to do. It's going to be nice that Levi's going to be starting med school in the fall. So she'll be able to see what's involved, it, what, with what's involved and what he thinks. But she has a government class that she's really surprisingly loving. She says, Mom, we talk about all the rules and and laws and stuff that have gone in the past and how she like to read about she, historic things she does she likes history and i thought i said maybe law school maybe and she's and then she says well you know medical malpractice i'm like yes do we know about yeah, that? Yeah, i said yeah. that that merges mary's like medicine and law mm-hmm. so i'm not really sure where god will lead her but she's has she seen suits I don't think, but she loves all the NCIS. She loves, and she says, you know, maybe I can take a forensics course. She's so interested in all. She talked all about a things. couple of years ago about pathology and forensics pathology. And I said, well, anybody out there whining? You can't hurt anybody if you're doing I'm your work on a dead person. Let him say hi. With oh, him. we're going to bring Buddy in. No, oh, Buddy. I'm your baby. He's such a baby. He's a little baby. Little baby. Let me see all my messy office behind you. There. Baby. What is that? You see the baby? You see the baby? Is he on camera? The buddy? Who's that? He's a big baby. Does he can he even see himself? No. <gasps> Look. Oh, what a sweet baby. Don't see the baby? <laughs> He's like, I can't be away from my mommy for very long. So hopefully we'll be able to do a video call with him because he's actually 10 hours ahead of California time. So Nana and Pop-Up will really be glad to see his face. I want to see his face too. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's doing good. Anything else we need to report or talk about? No. It was not a very fibery talk. We've had a lot of things going on in our lives other than fiber. So we're going to, did you ever finish that color work sweater? I did, but I never cut it in half. I never steaked it. I need to. It's been sitting, waiting for me to. What's what? Which pattern was it again? It was. Um, of course, you'd ask me. I Is modified it. Easy to find it. Or no? Yes, I modified. 
<laughs> of course you have. I wonder why I, how I modified that or why I modified that. Let me see if I put anything over. Oh, Amy. We need to, you need to stick that. Let me see. Oh, that is so cool. I dyed all the colors. Ex do you still have the blue? I think that's that. Oh, Amy, you need, what do you, you oh, need but to I have, save I have it for the button bin. I've got another. Okay. Oh, that's right. I got another button. I need another button bin. I do have plenty. Those were the colors. You have two skeins yeah, of it. I, is that what's left of... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe you want to steal something from my stash I don't socks. think I don't know that I dyed that orange. You better save that yeah, blue. This, this, this is this Yeah, is you that. better save that for the button. Oh, band, I forgot Amy. this was for the sweater. It's a good thing you came here. Good thing we came and talked about and it. And I asked you about it. I'm Silly thinking about... Girl. Well, I know. Maybe I just need to stick to small projects like socks when I get started with my surgery. I was thinking, maybe I'll start something. I don't know that I need to do that. Where's my brain? My brain may not even, my brain just need, need to be rusty. I may not even be able to knit on socks. Or maybe a simple crochet, something like corner to corner oh. blanket, something okay. that's just that's, I could do that. baby blanket that you just, a stripey, you just add different colors as you feel like it. Yeah. Something that's a leftover scrappy kind of I thing. I need to start thinking about Skyland's graduation blanket. Right, so we'll, we'll say, we'll say goodbye. goodbye. If you can't be kind, be quiet. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah. What do you do now? Push that little X up on the corner. Okay, bye. Bye. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yeah, end.